So Whittier Narrows Dam is a three mile long earthen embankment built by the Corps of Engineers completed in the 1950s. The project sits in central Los Angeles County and can impound excess stormwaters coming from the Rio Hondo River and the San Gabriel River. The project has operated for 60 plus years as intended and allowed those communities to develop in a way they would not have been able to otherwise. In other words, they would have experienced flooding on an annual basis without that project. The project today is in good condition. However, the Corps of Engineers, through modern science and forecasting, has discovered a couple deficiencies which are going to require us to take a significant modification to make sure that it provides the same benefit that it has for the past 60 years for the next generations. That project will begin starting in the mid-2025 time range. It'll probably take about four years to complete. Those who live and recreate near the dam are going to experience some changes in the conditions that they see today. Particularly, you're going to see large pieces of construction equipment adding um, soil cement and concrete to the downstream face of the dam, immediately adjacent to residences and dwellings. You're going to see some traffic changes in around California 19 or Rosemead Boulevard and Lincoln Avenue, a small municipal road that connects the cities of El Monte and Montebello together. Both those roads will have to be modified as they cross the dam. They should remain open to traffic during that construction period. However, traffic patterns will change during that time frame. Construction will largely take place during daylight hours. However, increased traffic associated with hauling and construction could be anticipated. Additionally, for those of you that enjoy taking advantage of the large recreational space behind the project, most of that will remain open during construction. However, some of the trails that traverse the dam will have to be closed during construction for public safety. Well, Whittier Narrows Dam was built principally to impound excess stormwaters and keep those folks who live downstream of the dam dry during large storm events. The reality is those storm events don't occur frequently. And as a result, the dam has created a huge green space in which the county and local municipal entities have been able to develop parks. And the public appreciates the recreation and the natural beauty that that area provides to them on a daily basis. Most of that is going to remain open during construction. Some of it will be impacted during construction. If you enjoy riding your bicycles, your horses, going for jogs or walks over the dam, during the period of construction, those activities are going to have to be interrupted. And that's really for your safety. We're going to have some large equipment, moving a lot of earth and placing a lot of concrete. We need to keep you safe while we make this investment. Once our project is complete, the dam will look very much like the way it does today, and there will be opportunities to restore those trails as they traverse the dam, and hopefully the public will continue to be able to enjoy the recreational benefits that they have into the future. More importantly, the dam is going to be more resilient to some extreme storm events in the future and should provide the same benefits it has for the generations that grew up downstream of the dam for the future generations that have yet to come. Mm -hmm.